Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Latif and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast and this is episode 26. Today is actually January 26, 2020 and by now everyone's heard and there's no way I can do this podcast without even making a mention of the tragedy that went on today, um, Kobe Bryant and his beautiful daughter, 13-year-old Gianna, um, were killed in a helicopter crash in California, along with, uh, I would say, seven others, because they said it was a total of nine. Um, I don't know how correct this is, but they said that also one of the passengers was a friend of Kobe's daughter. Um, And it's an extremely sad situation for everyone on that, in the helicopter. You know, Kobe's a celebrity athlete. And it tends to flash this extremely bright light on him and his daughter. And sometimes at the same time, it dims the light on everyone else that was in that helicopter and I I can't help but really think about the others I I have my prayers and condolences to the to Kobe's family and his wife and his children and he had a baby on the way and you know I would never wish that on every anyone I mean and then I'm thinking he's in there with his daughter and I have a daughter and I could just imagine how it would be in the helicopter knowing it was on its way down and it really gets me sick just thinking about it I don't want to continue on but you know I want to you know send the the, the prayers and condolences also to the others that were were on in the helicopter including the pilot and you know it, it was just extremely extremely sad and I wasn't I haven't been a huge basketball fan in in many years. Uh, I think since I was a kid. I mean, I dabbled in basketball, football, boxing, but when I got into the business world, kind of sports took a took a back seat. Um, but I knew the players. Um, I admired their careers. I admired their careers outside of basketball and what they so many of them have built. Um, so, you know, so yeah, you know, I, I was pretty familiar with Kobe Bryant and his achievements and it's just really, really sad. And what it does, it, it just, it just hits home. It, you know, it allows us to, it makes us realize how life, how short life is and how unexpected, how these things can happen. You, you know, you think about it the day before. Or even earlier that day, today, when he woke up in the morning and stepped out of bed and stretched, and you know, no, and nobody would ever expect that he's getting on a, a helicopter with his daughter, and you know, they're, they're out to. Um, I believe they were going to. I, I think it was the college that he used to go to. I didn't read the whole story, so I don't want to speculate and get people pissed off because I got the story wrong, but I'm trying to make a point here. You know, it's just, you know, we don't, we don't know. I could, I could, I could create this podcast tonight and that, that's it. Tomorrow I don't wake up, you know, only, only, only God knows that, you know? So, you know, just, it, it's, it's, it's really, really sad. And, you know, I was sad when I heard it was him. And then when they, all of a sudden I heard it, his daughter was, was on there too and I saw the pictures I mean 
it really, really hit me. So, prayers, condolences, blessings to them. And I guess uh, God had his, uh, I guess they, they did their job. God, God needed them, you know. So, I don't know. It's just, anyway, <clears throat> enough of that for now. And I know we're going to be dealing with this all week long, all of us. Uh, because when it's an athlete or it's a celebrity, um, it's almost like it's family member. These are people that we follow, people that we, though they don't know us, we know them. So it's almost like, you know, sometimes it's like losing a family member. You know, I felt the same way, you know, when Michael Jackson died, when Prince died. I mean, I could go back when, way back uh, to some of the celebrities that passed away when I was growing up, you know? So, so anyway, uh, again, prayers and blessings to everyone's family that was on that, in the helicopter, okay? So, <clears throat> other than that, today is Sunday. Um, quiet day. I did some work. I worked a little bit on the Facebook page for Goodnight Freestyle. Um, if any of you have gone on before, you realize that before I had the link that went directly to the podcast. Well, from the Facebook, I removed those links. I'm going to try something out. And I replaced it with the links that bring you to the YouTube. <clears throat> because I'm being told that the YouTube links are a little easier to open up. A uh, few people were having problems with um, the Anchor li um, links. So instead, I put the YouTube links, and that should work a little better. Um, plus, you know, I would like for you guys to go into the YouTube. Um, I have a little bit more control over that. We can put you know, leave messages, we can leave comments, and we can really interact between there or even the Facebook page. But when you get a chance, please go in. I sent an invite to... Um, to a bunch of people, so I'm hoping more people come on, come in. Uh, it's just a, another place for you to listen and for me to maybe uh, post, you know, the episodes. So every every day I'm trying to post, well, it'll be the day after I'm posting the episodes. Like tonight, I might post this episode tonight. Let's see how late it, how late it gets. If not, I'll be posting it tomorrow. But n nonetheless. You can get it. If you have the Anchor app, then you can get this as soon as it loads. But um, anyway, so just make sure you go in. It's Good Night Freestyle on on Facebook. Okay, so I really appreciate you guys uh, going on and, uh, and and checking it out. If you can like and you have any questions with, see, that's the whole key with, um, I have all the different episodes. So you can go down, you'll see the, the last episode will be on the top. Work your way down. So if you want to binge and you haven't listened to any of the beginnings, the beginning ones were pretty rough. Voice was really, really cracky, kind of like raspy. I was a little nervous. I was doing the ums and ahs. I'm still doing them. I'm still doing them, but I might be getting a little better right now at this point. But go in there and check check some of those out. If you have any questions, I try to keep them all around 20 minutes. So I don't want to waste anyone's time. I just want to kind of you know, kind of share with you, you know, my head for the day, you know, and, and maybe, uh, maybe if there's something that was on your mind as well, maybe we were, maybe we were seeing the same thing, or maybe we were, we were on the same page for whatever reason for that day. Maybe you were feeling the same way I was feeling for that day, or maybe you are viewing things the same way I am, you know, or maybe not. Maybe you're seeing things opposite. No, this is a time and a place for us to kind of put this out here you know i have a, a huge agenda when it comes to the freestyle genre um you know I, I i just have such high hopes for it and such high hopes for all the artists and the producers and the managers and i want to see more come on board we're starting to get people to spread out uh we got a lot more uh, internet radio stations i mean that's beautiful man i don't we have one live radio live has one but don't just check mine out check them all out man put them all hook them all up man you know bounce around see what they're doing the ones who advertise if they advertise their show you want to see well, get off a of live radio go over to them you know 
and, and move it around. Um, we also have a few people doing podcasts besides the Good Night uh, Freestyle podcast. Uh, Judy Torres has a really cool podcast, and, and you guys should definitely go go onto her page and um, and check it out. It's under her her Facebook page. You find it. Just go to Judy Torres on Facebook and scroll down, and you'll see it. And she did a great job, and she sounds great. And you can actually call in, so it's really cool. Same thing with 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 Joe's Lamar. Joe's Lamar has the talk. Um, really cool. I watched a couple episodes. His is actually on video. So you can actually see the people who are podcasting with him. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, we talked about, you know, Angel coming on soon. She's had the flu. This whole house hell has been pretty much under the weather. But once she's, you know, back on, on her feet, um, we're definitely going to bring her in so she can uh, she can uh, be a guest on their show. So and there's others that are coming up. And if you guys know of any others man please you know let us know um i really like to hear about it you know so you know the, the key is that we need to support each other we can't worry about competition we can't we can't worry about what the what you know it if we all are doing incredible jobs it's not gonna take from me it's gonna make the whole genre uplift People are going to come in here and say, yo, you know what I love about this freestyle? man? like, you can go like everybody's doing shit, you know? That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to see. You know, I want to step up my game. The only way I can step up in my game is if everyone else is stepping up their game. Then now I have a measuring stick. Right now, we really don't have a measuring stick. We can have a measuring, we can measure what we do with people outside of our genre or outside of our industry. But, you know, what, what? You know, what good is that going to do for us, you know? So, you know, but if we have several people who are, who are, who are, it's like, you know, television got popular when, you know, when more people, more networks start to open. Then look what happened with cable TV. They thought it was going to be, oh, you got 3,000 channels. You thought it was going to be over, man. What? TV took over, man. It took over. It's nothing like it used to be back in the days. Now with with all the Netflix and the Amazon originals, do you see? It's the same thing. Same thing with radio. Radio was whack with two or three stations. Well, TV. Anybody who's raised around I'm 53. Anyone who grew up around more or less around the time I I grew up, you remember, especially in New York, what channels you had. Let me see if I remember. We had Channel Two, Channel Four, Channel Five. Channel 7, Channel 9, Channel 11, and PBS was on 13. That was your Sesame Street. That was it. That was it. And I think the, the cool stations might have been, I think, I from what I remember, I remember the cool stations being Channel 5. That's what I remember. I remember the cool station. Channel 2, I don't think those were the channels that I was vibing with. I think Channel 7 was cool too, but I think Channel 7 was vibing with the daytime shows I'm, I'm going off the top of my head i could be wrong <coughs> um uh who else who else do we have um yeah i can't even remember if you guys remember like what played on what channels growing up man i, I love to hear that that's that's kind of that's kind of dope to to kind of remember that you know it's like a library with one book come on man really the bigger the library, the more popular, the more people want to come on. Do you, do you see what I'm getting at here? Do you see what I'm getting? It's not about knocking down everyone else and trying to be the only one out there. Be the first and set the trail. Be the leader. I don't, I'll try to do that as much as I can. Doesn't mean I'm always going to be the leader, but I'll try. But you got to keep in mind also, I think Commodore was like one of the first. They were, they were the, the innovators, right? And then came what? Uh, and then the P, the uh, then came Mac. You know, I forgot how the system went. I had the whole timeline down the way it worked. But you know, second stringer man came along and, and took and took the crown. So you know, so it, it's it's you know, I can set up things like you know, I could I could be the first to do. I wrote books. I think I'm the first in freestyle to write books. But hey, somebody could be writing a book right now about to drop, and they're gonna they're gonna blow me out the water. You know, but you know what that's going to do? That's going to make me step up my game. That's going to make me get their book, read their book, see what the hell they did, and say, oh, okay, okay. All right, well, watch this one. That is dope. That's so damn dope. You know? So, you know, this is where I want people. When I was doing the Freestyle Music Awards, that was the whole idea. 
when I did the Freestyle Music Awards, like I said, I did it by the artists, for the artists. My thing was not trying to pack this place. My thing was, this is the time we come together every year to try and outdo each other with some new shit. You see, if you were a part of one of the acts, one of the instructions I gave you was, please do not perform your regular show. Please do not perform what you usually perform when you go to these club and concerts. This is your opportunity to step outside the box, to perform something totally different, to perform, you know, a different song. Okay, for instance, Angel goes on stage. We didn't have the cover girls together yet. Actually, they came, but we weren't together as a group. We weren't, we hadn't reunited yet, but I had Caroline and Sunshine there as guests. But check this out. When Angel went on stage, and she was doing a lot of solo shows, and in her solo shows, we were doing, you know, um, show me and because of you and everything else. But but we didn't have her. I didn't have her perform show me for the awards. I had her do Don't Tell Me Till Tomorrow. And we created this entire stage production with a bed. And we had this dude that she tied down on a bed and she straddles him with a knife. And it was really, really dope. The whole idea was dope, okay? Lil Susie, okay? First thing you're gonna think, Lil Susie's gonna go on there and sing, take me in your arms. Hell no. That's not what we wanted. I asked her, I said, listen, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna sing, um, oh my God. I still love you. I still love you. You know that song. <clears throat> I love that record, but the Spanish version. How dope is that? Picture that, Little Susie's on the stage singing I Still Love You in Spanish. You see what I'm saying? So she's doing something different, and you know what, it was entertaining. Uh, when K7 came on with the Swing Kids, he came on stage with a 50-piece marching band. I didn't want him to go up there and just sing his, do his regular show. We needed something different. We needed some sort of spectacular, you know, spectacle, you know. And he did it. He pulled that one off. When Raquel went on there, she went on there. Um, I think she had Joe Zangy with them, and they had the guitar out. And they, she was playing. He was playing the guitar while she was singing. What? Dope. Freestyle. The ones that sing "Don't Stop the Rock" and it's automatic. They created their entire stage like it was a laboratory, and they were inventing this new kind of music called freestyle. They had the lab coats on and everything. You see, nobody's doing that shit right now. It's the same thing, you know, people putting a band and then dances, and all right, the fans enjoy it, but we're not challenging ourselves. We're not pushing the envelope. And, and this is what I wanna do. This is, you know, what I'm trying. The thing is like, a lot of the promoters won't allow it. Like I can't go and do a different show with the cover girls on a on a freestyle explosion tour. That's not what they want. They don't want new music. They don't want, and I understand that. That's fine. But we have to find a medium. And you see the Freestyle Music Awards was that medium. We had to find that medium where we could come on and the artist can be free to be the artist that they truly are. And I was allowing that platform to happen. I didn't care if people didn't come to the show because these acts were not singing what they wanted to hear. I didn't care. I want to come, I want them to come on and I wanted them to challenge it. It's almost like the Super Bowl performance. The Super Bowl, or the Super Bowl commercials. How's that? That's even better. Okay, that's when you see the new commercials. And if the commercials become a hit, guess what? Then you see them for the rest of the year. Then they use them. You see, and that's what I was hoping to accomplish. I was hoping that people, I would, I would, I would pretty much push people to work six months on a performance because their job now is to kill everyone else. But guess what happens? Even if they don't kill it, they created a brand new performance. Now they can take that performance and share it with all the other venues and all the other performances. And if they rock it, it's going to be on film. It was going to be recorded. So the promoters would see it. And I guarantee the promoters would ask, man, can you do that, man? Can you, can you perform that? And that's how we would have been pushing the envelope. You know, that dream is still not, it's in my head. 
The only thing is I can't rely on other people. I can't rely on other people's money or I have to be able to handle that and do that myself. So, you know, that is something I'm looking at, you know, but, but anyway, so, you know, so that was the whole idea with that. And, and, you know, I just want people to realize that we have an incredible platform. Find your place, man. Find your spot. Forget about what everyone else is doing and do you. Forget about what other people are saying and do you. Don't look at the numbers. You do something. Don't, don't look and say, oh, I got two likes. Nobody liked it. Oh, man, hell with that. Because before social, before social media, we didn't know. We would go two, three years before we figured out people didn't like it. <laughs> You know, so so don't go by that. Don't chase the numbers. Don't don't look at that. But push the envelope, man. Push it. Get creative. You know, know your craft. You know, respect your craft. You know, and, and just and just push, man. I, I have I have a lot of you know faith and a lot of hope in this genre and all the artists, man, man. Don't let anyone say you're getting too old or, or the, don't don't do that. Okay? You, you can still rock the house, rock the house, because you know what? We all getting old. The fans are getting old. What? When you get old, what the fans don't want to enjoy music anymore? The fans don't want to go out anymore. The fans don't want to watch a show anymore. The fans don't want to, you know, see a go to a concert anymore. No, no. They want they still want to go and they still want to see you. So, you know, you go out there with your with your gray ass hair. You know, when you came and you rock the damn house, man, you and you take it to the end. You keep doing it. Now I've been I've been preaching this for a very long time, and I go up against anyone who says different. That's the one thing where I will stand different. I don't care if you suck. Keep trying. Keep trying. You're only gonna suck if you quit. Then you suck if you quit. But keep trying if you have a goal. If you have one damn song and you just want to perform that song for the rest of your life, then record that, then, then perform that song for the rest of your life. And the hell with what anybody else says. Just do your thing, man. Don't worry about other people. Okay? So, anyway, um, that's about it. I just wanted to uh, come on here real quick and... Um, Say what's up to you people. Have a little have a little chit chat. And again, I appreciate everything that you guys do. Please, if you could share this, if you can let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how I'm doing. Not that I care. Because you don't say shit, I'm still gonna keep going. If you give me a thumbs down, I'm still gonna keep going. But it'd be nice to hear it. Why don't you write that I suck? How about that? Because I'm cool with that too. You know, you can type, hey man, this shit sucks. Stop it. <laughs> Whatever. It's okay. It's cool. You know, I like it. <laughs> I guess that's all that matters right now. You know, so, but if you guys can find one little thing, if I, if I do 30 episodes and you guys can find one thing that might help you or might make you think differently or might open your eyes or might make you feel good or make a different decision or help you make a decision, then it's cool. Then we're good. Then, then it worked. I'm not, I'm not a, the Messiah. I'm not here. I'm not supposed to change the world. I could try. But sometimes you change the world one person at a time. Until tomorrow. Good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.